everyone, today we're going to be doing something completely different. Well, actually, it's tonight, and I've just stuffed myself full of pizza and I feel a bit sick. Martin's on the PlayStation, and I've told Jonas to tell the week he's on his room, and I'm in the kitchen, and I'm going to paint the kitchen window fires. Um, I've got loads of paint here. I've got paint brushes. I'm going to run through what I'm going to do, and then what I'll do is because I'm not, I'm not very good at editing. Actually, I can't edit at all. I'm going to. Just run through this quickly and then I'm going to stop it and then I'll be doing a sped up version and you'll just see us doing it. But I'll go through all the colours that I'm using so you know what I'm doing. Um, I'm going for something like um, sunset, mountains and then as we're getting near the Christmas I'm going to do more wintery stuff but I just fancy something sunset and mountainy. And because it's my first time doing a video I'm going to start it off with that. I've just done a load of Halloween stuff, which I wish I'd filmed, but I didn't. But anyway, so I'm going to start off by showing you what I'm using. So, I've got it all on the top of the, the tumble dryer. So I'm using a load of acrylic brushes. and get these really cheap. I think this was about £4 or something from Wilkinson's. You kind of grumble, and honestly, they're really good to use. So you've got them, and then I've got two massive... Black and white, you can't go wrong, you've got to have a little black and white, you end up using the mode of it. And then I've got this. I had this when I did a lot of me oil paintings. You've got your knife, fan brush. This one's an oval brush. Yeah, an oval brush. And then I've got this here which I picked up. And the reason I picked this one up is I thought it would be good for use with acrylics because this is what I'm using, I'm using acrylic paint. I used to use oil paint, but this one's really quick so you've got to work really fast with it. And it sets fast and it sets into like a mat. So you haven't got long to manipulate it. You've kind of got to know what you want to do with it. But you can take it back off. And a tip, because I didn't even give it a thought when I was doing my Halloween one. Martin said if you're doing it on a window which is facing out of where people are going to see it. To show them what you're doing, like an object, you've kind of got to take the paint back off and in the shape of that object to fill it in. Otherwise, you can't see it on the other side because it's quite a thick medium. So this pen here, it's like a rubber tip thing. So I'd give that a go. Hopefully, I can take it back off. Otherwise, I have to kind of use my nails and um, like a wet cloth, which is a pain. I've just scrubbed the other window off because you can't leave Halloween stuff up all year round. So I've got rid of that. It's pretty easy to do, which is a pain. Use a scrubby, um, like a, a really rough sponge scourer, window cleaner, and just scrub loads of. And it comes off alright, you just you get a load of gunk. It's, it turn, it kind of turns back into what it was. So it's gloopy, so you've got to be careful where it goes. Right. So anyway, loads and loads and loads of Dalarami paints. We're in Darlington and Martin found, well, we stumbled across the art shop. Never ever been before. I will go again. They don't have an online shop, I don't think, but then it's 11 to 12 Bond Gate in Darlington. Really, I couldn't believe the prices. So that's it there. Lovely little quaint shop. All the art stuff you can think of. Really, honestly, I couldn't believe I stumbled upon it. Lovely. So Martin bought a load of paints for us, so I can get cracking. And I bought the the brushes and the knife and stuff. So I'm chuffed a bit. So I've got loads of different colours here, and I'll show them as I'm going. So that's it. Off we go. So I'm going to start by making up my colours. Start with a bit of white, you need a load of white. I'm just using this. I need a new one, this is a bit mingy. But I like I want like a, a full artist palette so you can kind of you know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. That's alright. Use a bit of black. You've got to have white and black. The look I'm going for is like a ready purple, so I need a lot of purple. And I've got like a deep violet colour. Put a bit of that in there. So I've got black, white, purple. And then I'm probably going to go for something like vermilion hue. But I'm going to put that on top of 
so you think of it as in layers so nice purple background for the sky purpley blue with a bit of that and then on top of that we're going to go with some yellow I've already got it all over my hands so put a bit of that in there and then a bit of yellow I got these cheapest chips there's about 16 of them for a 10 hour at WH Smith's it's a little acrylic paint this one's yellow lemon ye lemon yellow but I like a bit of lemon yellow and the auger so you've got yellow auger it's got a nice squeeze of both just mix them together uh, what else we'll get to that in a minute right so actually I'll put a bit of orange do I? Mm -hmm. no we don't need an orange, we've got a vermilion. I might go with a crimson red, I might, I don't know. Right, so off we go. So, I need to go with the background of the purple. So we're going to go in with that, go across the top here, and I'm going to go along there, and that's where our mountains are going to be. So, I'm zoomed in a bit, I'm sure you can see. Right, off we go. So with acrylic, I love this way to do it. You can go across like that, but I actually love the paint to be quite thick. And um, you can't see out of it once it's on. So if you're decorating your house, by the way, it's ideal instead of putting paper up. You can't see through it unless you make eye poles and peepers. So I'm gonna get like that. It's really fun. I was absolutely itching to do it. I don't like doing videos at night, but I was itching to do it. And I thought if I'm going to do it, I promise I'll do a video on it. So, and I'd regret it if I just painted the windows and didn't show you. And if it doesn't turn out right, you don't have to do it again. Right, I'm done, I've had a mess, I've had some fun and I'm done for the night and I'm going to add a little bit just here just to add a bit more of the light from the sky because it looks a bit dark and done it. Yeah, that's it. Just a bit more like that. I love layering it on thick. Now my mountains are a lot to be desired, they look more like dark slopes but I've got a hell of a lot of practice to do and I've had a load of fun so I don't really mind. I hope you've had fun watching. Um, I'm going to try and edit this the best I can, okay? So fingers crossed and wishes luck. And I hope you enjoy. See you in a bit. Zoom, zoom.